happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Simolio. This is a retro black walnut premium portable FM radio with Bluetooth and auxiliary in. You can find this on sale for Amazon for $87.99. There'll be coupons, definitely around Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, this one actually had a $6 off coupon, bringing the price down to around $81.99, uh, give or take. It is a premium radio. It is cool. Wait till you see it. So here's the box. Smolio. All right. So right here, really cool. Premium, natural, American black walnut. No two pieces will be the same. That's the uniqueness of this product. Absolutely amazing. It looks gorgeous. Come over here. Some little side points. There you go. And then on the back here, some information. You can freeze frame and read this if you'd like. Uh, but the big thing here is it's got two 2,000 milliamp hour batteries inside the device, giving you 20 hours on the radio and 12 hours on the wireless or auxiliary. Not bad. And it does make a great gift uh, or for your collection. Yeah, these things sound fantastic. So I took everything out of the box. They give you quite a bit. So let's set this aside. Show you what you get. You get the radio. Awesome. Loving this. this. Wood is fantastic. Just looks gorgeous in person. Wow. Hopefully it's showing up on camera really nice. Uh, they give you a nice carrying case for your radio with their brand on there. Uh, zippered case. Uh, let's unzipper it here. Show you how it packs in. So yeah, it lays in the bottom there. And on top here is a mesh for putting your extra cables and things, which I took out. But yeah, it's got a little carry handle on it. Cool. So you get the case, you get the radio, and inside that bag was also a couple items. Charging cable, USB to micro. Some people still love the micro. Actually, a lot of radios still use it. Beautiful thing. Uh, here we have a patch cable. Stereo. Love the stereo sound. It actually sounds really good for the size unit. They give you a plug-in uh, FM antenna. It uses the auxiliary in jack. This extends out 13 inches. Not too bad, but you can also use the auxiliary wire here as a 32-inch uh, antenna, which we'll probably end up using it if I get to demoing the FM radio. And of course, you get your manual. Here it is. For posterity, I always like to go through it. There you go. There's some support information on the front. Opening it up here, uh, you can just quick freeze frame if you need to. Table of contents. I'm going to go fairly quick here. Okay, very simple to use. I'll go through it. There you go. Again, play times. Play times are decent. I was listening to some classical music on it. It sounded fantastic. And it's showing you can run the, for better signal, you can run the audio cable. And I did that. It works out great. Uh, there you go, and it's got some specs right there. Excellent. We'll go over some dimensions and also do some size comparisons. Safety instructions, limited warranty, and if you have some problems with your device, what to do. There you are. And we're done with the manual. Again, just in case you lose your manual, you'll have it. So I'm going to set this stuff aside here. And we're going to go over some dimensions, bring this camera on down a little closer so you get a good look at that walnut. That looks amazing. Ah, the fit and finish on this product is just just gorgeous. I just love it. Um, yeah, that, that is just fantastic woodworking. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over dimensions of the product. Uh, it's five and three quarter inches in length, four inches in height, including the uh, bottom feet there. And we have a depth of two and three quarter inches. That includes the um, knobs here, front to back, so you get an idea what's going on. So there's that. Let's do for the size comparison. Um, not going to set anything on it. We'll just put it side by side. CC pocket I always bring out. Give you an idea. It's like a three by five pocket radio, and then we'll just go straight to a deck of cards for size, standard playing size. 
Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves retro radios from China Land. He's Iron Man. Gosh, yeah, it's just nice looking. But there you go, deck of cards. All right, cool. So let's go to the features of the Smolio model JH762S. Because they do sell one with just one speaker. This is a stereo unit. Uh, this is the one I wanted, stereo. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, so features we have, um, so you can see just a beautiful wood cabinet that, like they said, this black walnut cabinet. Um, loving it. It's no two are the same. I can see that the grain pattern is being different. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, fit and finish is perfect on this. Uh, we are greeted with two speakers. Um, I measured them. They could be two inches. Uh, behind here, I can't really open this case up without destroying the label on the back, but I'm guessing two inches or one and three quarter inches. The openings here are about one and three quarter inches, but we could have two inch speakers in here, so they sound they're strong, sound fantastic. Uh, you'll get to hear that in the video. So, in the front here, you can also see they have their name it's like incused into the wood, pressed in. Beautiful. Now, we have a little small FM dial, which is backlit amber, which is nice. Turn it on. You can kind of see that. Nice. And over here we have a selector, Bluetooth, FM, or auxiliary. In the center here we have activity LED. Um, this works uh, when you're on Bluetooth and auxiliary mode. And when you're on FM, when it comes into tune, it'll turn green, which is pretty nice. Volume and uh, on-off control. Speakers. We've got the little rubber feet on the bottom. Again, pretty simple on this side too. Nothing too special there. And the beautiful top. Love that. Going to the back here, we have some information. Uh, it shows you the capacity, 4,000 milliamp hour, because it has two batteries. Uh, charging one amp in. has a micro USB port. A little red LED shows up when it's charging. There's your antenna. You can plug in that telescopic antenna or the wire. I'll probably end up using the wire for demonstration purposes and for our antenna. A little base port there. So there it is. That's the features. Rock on. So yeah, 12 hours on Bluetooth and auxiliary, and 20 hours on FM radio. Um, speaker audio has a wonderful full range to it with no hiss that I could detect at low volumes. Uh, nice stereo separation, actually, for such a small radio. Gives a nice spacious feel to it, and definitely fills a small room or medium-sized room with audio. This thing really jams, and my wife gets a little irritated when I turn it up too much. <laughs> Uh, but she was singing some of the songs that I was able to tune in. Uh, before we turn it on, though, let's talk about FM reception because this is an FM radio in here. Um, it's really cool. It's it's a really, I would say it's a okay to good. I have a five-tier scale. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, and this falls in the average radio category because this selectivity isn't perfect. It gets an okay to good rating there as well. And what it does is it latches on strong stations. So if it finds a strong station, it will latch on it and stay on that strong station for quite a bit. So your faint stations aren't going to come in as clear. Now on a better day, I might get more stations. It just depends. I was happy. Uh, and then when I extended the wire, I thought I'd get more stations, but I actually got better stereo reception. So that's a bonus for me. Those strong stations were even coming in better and in stereo. So yay for that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm really liking this, as you can tell. Uh, this is a really cool radio. Uh, so that's out of the way. Let's turn it on. So kick it on here. We'll see if we can get the Bluetooth to work, do audio demo. I say that because I'm using an older Bluetooth MP3 player. So it's going to flash. We'll see if it picks it up. If not, I have to manually do it. Usually it does a confirmation beep when it finds it. And of course, it's not finding my little MP3 player. So let me see if I can get it to automatically recognize. If not, we'll switch over to FM transmission. Let me see. Let's unplug this. All right. So we have our player here. And a lot of times, it depend, depending on your player, you may have to go to the menu. So go to the Bluetooth menu here. Search for devices. And it should be in here. It should auto connect, but uh, I was turned it off while I was doing this. So connect. And we'll see. There we go. Little beep confirmation, so it should start playing. Let's make sure it's not jamming too loud. There we go, turn green. 
We'll demo this for a few minutes, then we'll go to the FM radio and the auxiliary. Show you that. So let me uh, bring it out. Use this little MP3 player. So one of my few that have Bluetooth on it. You can see it's playing that. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up. Now I have a mono microphone, so you're not gonna hear stereo, but it sounds very spacious. turn that off cool uh, let's go to auxiliary yeah I noticed the flash is redier that might just be an activity indicator uh, I thought it was a battery life indicator but it's not because uh, the flashing red was like hmm, I wonder so I let it run for like five hours of the FM radio and it was like no big deal didn't turn off or anything so if that does it with yours I think I think it's just an activity uh, that's booting up so let's go ahead and uh, hook up auxiliary now I could have put old time radio on my MP3 player and I didn't have time. So 
we're going to uh, hook up, uh, I, got, I carry this with me when I'm at walks. It's a little MP3 player, a little cheapy guy, Prunus J328. It's got a micro SD card slot. And, uh, you know, it's got a decent speaker on its own, but it's not stereo. But uh, I like to listen to old-time radio. So we're going to hook up, play some old-time radio on a retro old-time radio-looking device. Why not, right? So I'm going to use the cord they gave us. And we're going to keep this connected. And we're going to try the FM band and see how I can do that. Because I can't really lay the radio flat. I do like laying it flat like this. So, But we're going to hook up the little player here. And uh, plug it in, the auxiliary, and see how this sounds. I love my old-time radio. So we'll go ahead and just lift this up here. Press it right in the back there. Audio in. Okay. So I guess I'll just hold this here. Yeah. Auxiliary. I'll turn this on. I'll turn my device on. So you can see what's going on here. Okay, so I think my volume's low, so let's go turn the volume up. Okay, should be playing. Your song for Sunday? There we yeah, go. Yeah, and I think it's pretty good. Would you like to hear it? Sure, kid, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, let's hear this. <laughs> gentlemen, the secret word is house. H-O-U-S-E. Is this a fact? <laughs> you bet your life. It's Groucho Marx in You Bet Your Life, the comedy quiz series produced and transcribed from Hollywood and brought to you by the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers of America, who invite you... Tired of the everyday routine... Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you... Escape! Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. Experts. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show. So you get an idea. It sounds fantastic with the old time radio. The Bill Harris Alice Faye show, written by Ray Love Singer, it. Okay, Ray. so we're going to go ahead and uh, do an FM band scan, and then we'll do some final thoughts on the Simoleo Retro Black Walnut. Love that. So sharp. They did a great job with this, just overall. I'm just really impressed. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this off. We'll go to FM. And now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this wire, I'm going to disconnect this, I'm going to... Pause that, turn that off. Okay, unplug the little player. And yeah, this is nice. You know, you can do the same with this here. This has the earphone jack, plug it in. Um, you can use this for like little instruments too. Like if you uh, like to play those little pocket operators from Teenage Engineering, you could use this as your speaker uh, and you could set up in a little coffee club or something and uh, use that. It'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, would I do that? I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> I do have a couple of those pocket operators. They're cool. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to extend it up over a lamp to get a little height to it. So give me a moment while I move some wires around and get us some reception. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up over. Let's see if I can do this on camera again. I'm trying to do a couple things at once here. And uh, yeah, so we can do a little FM band scan, see what it sounds like. Like I said, it was uh, it struggled a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to get that wire to stay up there. It just doesn't want to. So I can move my lamp a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna hold it. All right. So we're gonna turn it to FM. FM's on. We're gonna go to the bottom of the band. Turn it up. Probably won't pick up much. I'm in a subfloor basement. Um, we'll see what we can hear. Tuning is uh. A little slow, I'm just gonna take your time. 
Kind of like a DSP setup. Can't hover on the music, but it's sounding pretty good. I think it's picking up a low power station here, 8775. Nice. Protect yourself from huge market swing? Are you amazed at how low the interest rates are? When you get this to light up green, it should. Almost. Moody slash Chicago. WMBI FM and HD1 Chicago. Unfolding prophecy in the Middle East. A one hour Moody Radio special asking key questions like why can't we have peace now? God says I will make Jerusalem the city of peace. Satan says I will make it a city of bloodshed. It's a spiritual war. And Satan will never be ideas network. Support for WPR is provided by the Eduardo Neal Coming Silva in stereo when it's uh, green there. It sounds fantastic. To young performers. Eduardo Neal Silva was a respected educator at the University of Thanks to Calvary Chapel Chino Hills and to our Chicagoland community. Find out how and how we can help at wbez.org slash car. This is the BBC World Service on WCKL Woodstock 97.9 Chicago. stations walking hundreds of miles and leaving behind everything they've ever known. Resources are stretched thin. Loaded with tech and safety features. Find the dealer nearest to you at buy They're playing Christmas today. music. <laughs> All the time. It started right after Halloween. 93.9, I believe this is what this is. Oh, you don't get kind of a faint station there. <laughs> sounding really good in person and I'm picking up quite a bit of stations downstairs here with this uh, wire beautiful my classical station WFMT out of Chicago there uh, just sounds wonderful can't hold on the music darn it Prove you. Come on, I see you driving. 
zakupów. Odbudujmy i przywróćmy dawną świetność Chicago. W wyborach na burmistrza Chicago. Okay, I think we got it. That's the FM band. Sounds fantastic. Uh, definitely an awesome, awesome Bluetooth FM radio. Uh, just loving it. Love the auxiliary in. I can hook up my CC Pocket to it and do the FM stereo. It sounds great. Uh, weather band, actually. Uh, AM, you got to be careful. AM, you got to extend this as far away from the radio as possible because you do get RFI generated from the circuit uh, of the Bluetooth speaker. So if you're listening to AM radio, uh, you probably won't want to use this. But if you're listening to FM or, or a, a weather band or something, you can definitely hook it up to here, no problem. If you don't want to use the little speaker, <laughs> it sounds really good. So there we are. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the demo of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I really like the product. Final thoughts on the Simulio. Um, Yeah, it's a premium product for the money. Um, is it worth the 80 bucks? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to give this as a gift, wonderful gift. I mean, it's just to a doctor, to a relative that has everything, you know, the guy who has you know, one of this and one of that. He probably doesn't have one of these. It just looks good sitting on the shelf there. It sounds great. Um, again, it's portable. <laughs> we love portable, right? That's just, I love that's portable and it has high capacity uh, batteries inside there. Thumbs up to, to them for doing that. So overall, it does get a recommended buy in a premium market because it is one of a kind. I mean, the woodworking is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the amber dial looks beautiful. The treatment on the knobs. Now, the knobs are plastic, but they're not bad. They look good. Got a nice little bronze treatment to them. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like it. When I first saw it, I thought the dial was too small, but it's perfect for what this radio is because it's all about the sound. And the sound just, it's a full range from those low bass all the way to those sharp highs. It's just, it sounds excellent in person. So I'm very impressed. And uh, I've re looked at some Bluetooth speakers in the past, and this just really blows them out of the water. So there it is. Gives a big thumbs up for me. Um, if you want to buy this product and you, you want to support the channel, check out the links below. Click them, uh, buy something, and I get a little kickback, a buck or two. You guys help out. Maybe I can pick up more of these. Um, I really, really enjoy them. I want to feature more products like this on my channel as well. Uh, it's just, just to spice it up. Definitely nice. Uh, of course, three, comment below what you think about the JH762S. Um, would you use this as a Bluetooth speaker? Give it as a gift to a relative. Uh, were you looking at it on Amazon and you searched for a review on it and you found it here? Uh, let me know. It'd be cool to hear what your comments are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video.